Hey friends. So we're gonna go on a quick garden tour. Um, really just so that I can test out this GoPro and decide if I actually wanna keep it. So <laughs> that's what we're doing right now. Let the dog goes out, there's a bit of sunshine. So they hang out on the patio usually while I'm gardening. Ollie likes to sunbathe. So remember that plant I bought a long time ago for like $5 and it was tiny? This is what we're working with now. Isn't it pretty? It's a slow glowing one, but it still makes for a nice visual, which was kind of the point. All right, into the sunshine. We'll see how long that lasts with that giant cloud right there. Typical Florida summer. So our oregano is growing back from when we cut it. The time, I need to figure out something to do with it because I've used so much. This guy's doing pretty good. Still need to get a plant stand for it. I moved my fairy hats out here. It's wanting to grow a lot, but, and there's some flowers wanting to come, but they, when they open, they get really pretty. I have a trellis for it. I just haven't set it up yet. This one's getting really big, but ironically, it's not really flower. Oh, it's starting to flower. It did not have this many flowers yesterday. We have definitely entered the rainy season, so I think some of the things are really taking off because we've gotten a lot of rain. So our parsley is still doing well. Uh, rosemary, I think I learned the other day, and I need to double check this information, but I learned on, somebody said on TikTok that this plant, rosemary, is more like the oregano and the thyme over there, where it likes to be dry in between, and it's definitely not getting that in this bed. So the basil, you can see how bad we cut it back from when we made the pesto video, pesto video the other day. Beans are still kind of meh. Tomatoes are hanging in there. You got definitely got some crusties, which again, we've gotten a lot of rain. So I'm thinking that's more like sun scald, but then you have like really healthy bits up top. So it's just interesting to me. Like this stuff looks really good. And like we talked in the pruning video, we are still getting rid of suckers like that one's a sucker this one's a sucker let's see that one's a sucker so um our eggplants are trying to come in you can see the little tiny tinies so this one is coming too sorry shadow i've gotten lots of tomatoes off of here so i'm pretty proud of this i've been eating them like just by the handful there's lots of flowers on our pepper plant. So it took kind of a hiatus, but maybe it wasn't getting enough water. And now there are just tons and tons and tons of leaves. And then jalapeno, kind of the same thing. Um, got a few more on there. I think I might come through and prune this because it looks kind of like, does it look crowded to you? It looks crowded to me. So. And then the other crazy thing, let me find it. There we go. Um, there's all this like white junk on my tomato plant. And I can't, oh, there we go. I can't, I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of like bug sack. So I, um, I contacted the extension office, which I'll talk more about in another video to see if they could tell me what it was. And I'm gonna to continue to do some research about that. So getting lots of good rain. The rain's better for our plants because it has more minerals and things like that in it. So um, yeah, this video was mostly just to decide, do I wanna keep the GoPro or not? So, cause I wasn't super satisfied with how the cooking video turned out. That may just be a learning curve I have to figure out. So, Please let me know, what do you think? Do you think the videos look better just with this short little tour through the garden with the GoPro? Or do you think the other videos were fine and I should send this back and get my money back? I told you he likes to sunbathe. Is this your favorite? <laughs> Sunshine doggo. This one not so much, but he's black so he gets hot. And I guess just to end the video real quick, eventually in the fall, I will be kind of planting out this area here because, um, you know, Florida sun is really intense and I, I'm going to put some shade stuff here because 
with the way that we have this ledge here in our house goes straight up. It doesn't get a ton of all day sun, but once the, again, the rain stopped and we stopped getting the flood off of the awning right there or gutter, whatever you call it, I am going to put some pot. I'm not going to plant in the soil, but I'm going to put some pots out here to grow more things. So again, guys, let me know. What do you think of the GoPro? Should I keep it? Does it matter? I don't know. You tell me. All right, guys, stay in the sunshine. Lots of it here in Florida. I wish you were here.